All right, we're already here. Fuck it, I just went live. How do I fucking refresh now? Fucking chat is this? My chat? This is my chat. There we go. Alright. So, the phone is charging. It was charging before. I didn't tweet. Um, but I was charging before that. Um, But um, apparently it wasn't charging fast enough because my battery was at like 30%. So I didn't have what I needed exactly at Best Buy. But I improvised. And I just got a new all-in-one. I got the, the audio is crackly. Shit. Um, I don't know how I fixed that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I just got the notification. Um, I just went live. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can fix this. Is that any better? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's so weird. I, I literally just went into the settings and saved it. Um, I didn't change because they were still set to when I set them before. Um, yeah, I didn't even tweet for like I I just figured out I'll just go live. Like I I literally just clicked the button. Um, I didn't even go get more vape juice in my bottle, which I need to do. Um, I took out the old cooler before I went live, so people didn't have to watch me take that apart. It only took me a few minutes. But I'm trying to figure out how to put in this one the right way. And it's weird because I don't know exactly what is the right way. They don't really tell you. They just kind of make suggestions where to put it. But like I want it, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, so you can, I want it here. I want it in this area, which is in between this thing and the top. So between this and the top. And I want it in there. And then I'll put the fans below it, I guess, because the fans don't really fit in there. Determined. Fine. Um, but I don't know if that's going to work either, so I might have to just put it how I had it before. Trying to open my open my vape bottle so I can go throw some juice in here real quick. Um. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some vape juice.
So we're streaming until this boots or my phone dies. One of the two. Whatever happens first. All right, so I think I'm just gonna do this the other way. This thing comes with this, like this little, they call it the RGB controller. Or the RGB hub. Arg, or Arg, Argba hub, Argba hub. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to just do this the way I had it before. So this goes in here, like this, this mounts to here, yeah, that's what we'll just do, we'll just do it that way. The radiator for this one's slightly smaller than the other one, um, I'm gonna grab a paper towel. I can wipe this down. Is Carilla's right? I think Carilla said it. I can wipe this down before. Fine. Um, I can change the angle of my camera for right now. Let me do that. Really didn't change it much, did it? So this goes down. Cat's fucking with the dog here. Need to figure out how this one works because this one. So apparently, my other one was supposed to have these other brackets. It just didn't. Or it did, and yeah, you got a post for that. Go to it. Um, so, like, I understand. Stand this back up. I have to. No, that's not for this. I'm so confused, and they don't really fucking give you any info. It's TR4. Oh, it says it right here. TR4. It says AM4. The one I need. Well, can you guys see this here? Let's open this. How does that work? Nope, nope, get out. Don't need that one. This is for Intel, I don't need that one. This is, I don't know what this is. This is a different plate. Inverse plate. I don't like that either. I like neither of them. How do I get a blank one of these? That's what I want. Um, look that up later. I'll 
does this work? Those come off. You guys can see this. Go on here. That? What the fuck does that do? That doesn't clamp onto this. At all. Oh, it does. Using the brackets that are the, no out 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 out. No, three D printing it wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have held it. I wish I could though. That would have been that would have been cool. So I hope I didn't lose these pieces because I need these now. So these pieces that I took out earlier. need them. Hopefully I didn't lose the screws. I didn't. They're all here. Awesome. I'm gonna put all these screws back in. Not entirely sure how this works. This goes, I know you guys can't really see this, but it's a lot easier for me to hang this when it's vertical like this, but it doesn't fall out. One screw started. Other screw started. Here are my glasses, there they are. It would have been neat, though, if I could 3D print it. All right. Those are now in to partially secure that. So I could probably lay this down. So I can hang it here. You know, I'll hang it. So many screws.
Um, let's put the bottom back on. I don't think I can because I took the brackets off. Yeah, it doesn't. That's dumb. All right, so I'm going to partially anchor this thing up here. Well, that's lovely. Fucking washer fell through. And now the screw's gonna fall through. So where's the other, where's the mounting screw for that one? So if I put this like right about here. One screw in. Oh my lord, these fucking washers. Washers are fucking fall right through there and I just dropped one. Let's see if the screwdriver will hold the screw. Let's see if we can find that washer that just fell. It. More of these little screws that I need. Here we go. Little tiny screws. I position it where I want. I'll tighten these down. I wish I knew what the battery level was of my phone. What's dumb is I can't even turn the screen off. So like my screen is on as well. So not only is the camera running, but
but it's also running the screen. Yeah, they didn't carry the brand that I wanted. Um, so I had to get Corsair. This was literally the only water cooler they had. So, kind of got that in place. I guess I could have moved it. No, I guess that's this right there is far. That that's far enough, I think. Uh, let's see. So. You guys can't see my cat, but he's under like a little end table, little TV dinner table that I have that my MacBook is on. He's like sitting underneath there. Right now. Just hanging out. Please, what the fuck is that? One cave, one single table. Where does that go? Pretend that it's one cable. All right, so now that I've got the radiator locked in place. Let me throw these other screws in because I don't need to take this out. I don't need to slide this out anymore. And I've already got enough screws that I don't remember where they go. We've been doing this for six hours, five hours. There? Maybe? Oh. Uh oh. I don't know how to use these. I think that is one of the spots. I see it. There's one here. Here's one. my two SSDs.
Solid oil, how you doing? Any questions or concerns? No. This is not my my first build by any means. Um, it's going fine. It just the uh, my NZXT Kraken that I have uh, was originally configured for my Threadripper, um, and I didn't have the the bracket. Uh, for the AM4 socket. So I had to essentially go buy a new cooling unit. Hello, Corilla. You're behind schedule. You missed the whole 23 minutes. You're all good. By Capelix. I got, yeah, I, I got a Corsair uh, cooler. Um, I didn't want that, but it was all that they had. Don't remember what screws on the back, but I don't need those right for a second. Um, next thing I need to do is to. I think put the fans through. I really want to blow cool air through the radiator. I don't want to pull air through the radiator. Really don't want to do that. But I can't get these in here. They don't fit. And I can't get the radiator in here. That doesn't fit, so we're going to have to do it this way. Yeah, it's like it's very similar to my um, my NZXT. I just already have the software installed for the NZXT. I mean, I already have. I guess I already have the Corsair one installed too because my keyboard's a Corsair keyboard. It all uses IQ. Um, I guess we, if you know the answer to this, so this is, I don't know if you can see this, there's two of them. These came with the uh, cooler, and they're for the AM4 socket. But I am unsure how those fucking work. I mean, I guess I kind of see how that works. Oh, I see. I see how it goes. So these latch underneath the little hooks. And then this goes through here and then ties it down. I got it now. I understand. I figured it out. I also don't know where I'm going to put this thing yet. So this is the RGB controller hub for um, all of the fans, which there's two of them. One side says RGB hub, one side says fan. I don't have any other RGBs to plug into it, although I do have this LED I wonder if I can get it to control that. I think these are just red lights anyway, though. I don't remember. Look at the pump. I might have put them on upside down. Um, maybe. Yeah, you know what? I did. I literally just, like, threw them on there. Call. Would have realized that at some point. So this is going to go this way. So I guess I can tighten down the AM. I didn't tighten down the AM4 brackets. I wasn't sure if they needed to be loose, but they don't. So I'm going to tighten them down. 
and we'll be good for that side. Yeah, this is actually my one of the other PCs I have is an AM4 socket, but I didn't uh, didn't have an all-in-one cooler for it. And it latched down a little bit differently than this. Alright, so those are tight, and I'm going to assume these little things tighten onto there, which they do. I'm going to have to lay this down for this because there's no way I'll be able to put both of these in there. Set the cooler on them and then tighten them down. Probably easier to do. Through here, with a little tightening on, like a little like this, right? Just so they stay in there, some huh? probably. Last thing I'm gonna build it in was with the heat processor. I don't even remember that one. Is that like the um, is that a 64-bit one? Because I my one of my laptops was like the first 64-bit uh, GPU. I don't have that laptop anymore. I just got rid of it. Not just got rid of it, but I got rid of it. Yeah, we're gonna do this laying down. Let's the PC, not me. I'm gonna stand up probably. Probably easier for me. Laying down might be a little difficult for me to do while I do this. So much shit on my desk now. Alright. We'll worry about these wires after the fact. does not seem anywhere near as like locked down as like the fucking the TR4 socket was. I'm an idiot. Hold on. These are in reversed. These need to go the other way. Um, so I don't have a 1080 Ti anymore. Um, I have a, actually I had a 1080. Um, I have, oh, who has a 1080 Ti, Corolla? Sorry, I was reading it wrong. Yeah, I mean, the 1080 Ti is still a great card. 
Like I had a, um, the the PC that's actually streaming this right now is just, it's a, a regular 1080, not a TI. This one right here is a 2080 Super, which used to have the 1080 in it. Then I got the, and then I got the 2080 Super. The for the win, three. Yeah, if I don't get rid of the um if I don't get rid of the NZXT cooler that I have, I might see if I can use it as a cooler for my video card. I don't know though. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't like like this combo. The NZXTs are way fucking better at this. But even right now, the, the fucking bracket already fucking popped off of here. They haven't even tightened anything down yet. Also, this cable is in a fucking terrible spot. Look at it, it just keeps wanting to pull the fucking bracket out. Literally just wants to pull the bracket. and doesn't want to fucking latch on. All right, got it latched down. Now let's see if I can tighten it so it stays on there. Now the other side fucking fucking came off. I think that one's on there. I think they're both on. I don't know how tight to make these. I mean, obviously you want them tight so they don't, so it doesn't come loose. I also don't want to break the fucking bracket. That's good. Tight, not over tight. Don't like these. I want them out of the fucking way. I wish they were, I should have turned it the other way so they were on this side, but I didn't want them hitting the fucking fan either. But instead, they're going to hit my fucking GPU. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, didn't see that. 
and I don't have breaking the bracket would be awkward. Um, whoever filed, thank you very much. Bring my live dash dashboard so I can see that. Uh, the activity. Oh, no, fuck that guy. I don't have the bot running, but um, can somebody ban? Actually, I got it. I got it. It was a hot spot, 100%. I did, that's why I just banned it. So normally, I did. I, I got it, though, custom. It's because the, the name, because I don't have my bot running, it didn't put the name in the chat anyway. And I do normally have a bot running that auto-bans those. Came always in the living room. Sorry. Um, It was easier for me to just do. Yeah, normally I have the bot a bot running that will ban those those hotspots, um, but it runs on this PC, so it can't ban them because it's not running. Yes, hospital. Hosp I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble. Julio, thank you for the host. You guys can probably hear that echo because it's coming through my my Mac too. So let me turn the volume down. Alright. So I need to figure out what this stupid fucking wire goes to that somehow got fucking stuck in here. So, I mean, is that a ground? Like, what the fuck is that doing? It's gotta be a ground. Can't be anything. No. Got the ground in there. <laughs> Julio, you're just wasting your point. Oh, here, you want me to teabag? Like, Yeah, I put it on the um, I put it on the CPU optional header because I, I do already have um, I've got a fan controller that is on the back of this case um, that is already plugged into that. Uh, although I put because what's plugged into there is system fans at this point, and I think. Even though this says CPU fan. Those are technically all system fans now at that point, I believe.
Hey, did you just fucking clip me teabagging? You said it's a... It's a just sense the RPM and the pump. All right, I'll, I'll put it on the CPU header. But it, so it's a single cable though, so it like it can't be more than just a ground, right? Like it, unless it's getting its power. Oh, unless it's just reading the data. Maybe that maybe that's the data cable. That makes sense. But it's going to get the power from the USB that it's plugged into. For the actually, this one doesn't plug into USB. I don't think. Does it? Yes, it does. Right here. Um, it's going to get the power from SATA power. SATA power and USB. So that's that. This goes to the RGB hub. This goes to the fan side. I got it. That makes sense. Garbage. Funny that the one cable says to RGB hub, they all like they both technically go to the RGB hub. Um, they're just labeled. Coffee. I actually had coffee today. I never drink coffee. How you doing, Rogelio? Watch this clip. I want to see it. Really, all oh, dark tea bags. <laughs> Pretty funny. Great content. Good follow. Well, I need to, where's this go? Let's see, that comes up through here. Cable, is this cable? Well, that goes up to this RGB controller. I wonder if I can change that. Okay, connect this Fantech multicolor LED strings only. I kind of want to plug that into this, into this to see if this will control it. So this side says fans, this side says hub. One of two things will happen. It'll work or it won't. Oh. Oh, they don't let you. Yeah. This side. This side we plug into it though. Well, we won't do that. 
probably not a good idea. Plug it in the right way. Um, this is, I don't know where this fan controller cable is. This one here. Yeah, so th I've got these now all plugged into the system fans. So do that that way. Probably need to put the fans in first. Then I can figure out so, fans, spin, that way. Okay. Where's the fucking fan spin? Spin that way? I want to pull air through this way. I think I do. And we'll put the cables that way. Airflow to the sticker. Yes, well, <laughs> funny story about that. There's a sticker on both sides. Um, but the question is, do I want to pull the warm, like the, 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 the case air, right? Because the air in here is going to kind of, I mean, I'm going to have, Fresh, cool air coming in from the front. And then this is, I want this to take it and blow it up through the radiator. The bigger sticker, the bicolor. Um, actually... They are both black and white. Being difficult to realize. This is the part that sucks. Like I can't really get down in, uh, and this one actually is a little bit easier. Um, to get down into there to screw this fan in. The other one was larger, so it was harder. Go. He's finger tight. Yes, that and okay, that's that's what I wanted to make sure. I want I want the air come this way and then up and through the radiator. Like I want it to push Push the air through to cool the radiator. Also, that makes sense, too, because these are going to light up, right? So you don't want to see them all lit up. Yeah, so these ones are tiny. Like I was not 
super thrilled about that when I open this and it it they're only these are only 80 millimeter fans my NZXT had 120 millimeter fans So here's the Corsair, here's the NZXT. Yeah, they might be 120 and 140s. Uh, and I was thinking that the NZXTs were 120s and, and these were like 80s or something like that, but they're still smaller. I wish I had the, the correct bracket for my NZXT one because I do like the NZXT cooler. Yeah, what, what do you have? Yeah, 200 millimeter fans? Yeah. Um, this case doesn't support 200 millimeter want fans, but um, my old case had 200 millimeter fans. Um, so, I didn't realize I didn't have the bracket until like an hour and a half ago, two hours ago. Um, and I'm already, I'm already very far into the build and didn't want to uh, put it off until they email me back and send me a bracket and all of that. Um, plus I'm selling the, the Threadripper and ASRock, uh, Tashi X399 board, so I may get, just get rid of the Kraken with that. Obviously for an additional fee. Yeah, we're and we're streaming until this thing boots, <laughs> or my phone dies. Whichever happens first, it should be charging now because I've got it on a different power supply. Um, for some reason, plugged into my hub, my uh, anchor hub that I have, it was not charging it. Like it, well, it was, but it was like low charging it, not fast charging it. So. Now we're pu we're plugged directly into the wall. Not the wall, but we're plugged directly into a power strip and pulling power that way. So hopefully it's charging. I can't 
see it though because that's the camera that's running right now. Now I gotta fish these through. Stand this up. There's one, and two, three. Four. Fuck the other one again. Oh, and didn't fucking go through. Those are all through now. Needs to run through as well. All right. Let me find the bag that these screws were in so I can put them in there and not lose them. Garbage on the floor. This is that box that goes back with that so I don't fucking lose it. So next time when I'm like, I want to switch to Intel and I buy a fucking Intel solid, you might know this. Can I get one of these? without the Corsair logo on it. Without paying like an arm and a leg for it. Maybe eBay? All right, I just thought, if, I thought you might know. I'll look, look around. I'm sure somebody somewhere makes them. I appreciate you hanging out. And have a good night. Yeah, ne the next step is I'm going to hook up the hub. Just looked up my cooler and CPU. It has dual 120 millimeter fans on either side of the sink. Yeah, I'm sure someone, somebody somewhere does them. 
I just, I don't even want a custom one. I just want one that doesn't have the fucking Corsair logo on it. <laughs> That's all. I mean, I'd love one that has something else on it, but I don't even need to have that. I just would rather have no logo on it. Clean up my workspace here a little bit to get some things out of the way. I'll clean up the floor after. This is where all the ugly cable management is. We're going to put this, I think, here. This way. Um, well, that's awkward. This has to go to the USB, which is all the way on the other fucking side down here. Which means I need to put this, like, over here. How much room do I have? Uh, it'll make it. Yeah, as long as I put it that way, and then I'll run these clean here. While this side is ugly, I still want the cables to be somewhat managed over here. Does that make sense? Let's put that like this. And that plugs in up there. Oh yeah, sorry. It'll it'll time you out automatically if you don't ask for permission. I got I got the DM. Thank you. You can do a lot of cool stuff. In I will check that out. That link out. Thank you very much. Oh, hell yeah, I can design my own? Fuck yeah. Well, so this is a mid-tower, I think. My only complaint about this case when I got it was that the, not so much this side, but the other side, uh, anchors down the same way. Um, there's no hinge. The newer model of this, actually, on the other side, has a hinge for, for the glass panel. So it's like they heard me. Oh, there goes the phone. I saw it. I saw it happening. So we're gonna Is that gonna stick to it there? Probably not. We're only gonna put one on then. That should hold it. Door has a hinge and a lock. Yeah, my um my old cases had had a hinge and a lock on it. Got it. That made it kind of a pain in the ass to get into, though. At the time, like if you actually, like if you needed to get in there, you know. Like I don't go into here often, but when I do, I want to be able to go actually get in there, right? Give it that extra little extra little spot sticky. Is 
Could be the only one back then. All right, that's anchored. Now this, these, those over there first. Oh my God, they're stuck on me like spider webs. Hello? Hello? Can you go in there? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Perfect. All right. Now, this one goes to the RGB hub. Goes to the pin. And I guess if I added more Corsair fans, I could have this control them for RGB. Doing that anytime soon. There's enough lights in here. That little box. There we go. I'm going to run it through there in a moment so it gets kind of all tied down and out of the way. Actually, I have cable ties. Velcro ties. Whole tower weighs a good 20 pounds. Yeah, I mean, this thing itself, without um, without anything in it, weighs probably 15, 20 pounds. I'm going to grab some water. I'll be right back. Probably hear me put ice in here.
the cake's empty, weighs 28 pounds. Yeah, I have a I have a friend who had a um who had a it was actually a dual motherboard case that weighed like 60 pounds empty. All right, so now I need to plug in the power. We'll tap right off of this one right here. I don't think. I'm going to run it all the way over. Uh, hold on. Maybe, maybe we do. Maybe we do run it all the way over. See, I take it under here. Under where? Here. And then up here. To where'd that go? Here. Up to there, and we lock it down. Good piece where the other one was plugged in before, so put in that spot. Black that I can pull out of there. We're good. Yeah, they're they're huge, like. His was larger than a full tower. I would assume that they would get hot in there too, right? Like the temperature inside the case, a lot hotter because you've got more components in there that are generating heat. I want to get that cable out of here. I'm afraid it's going to cut it. I can't even get my hand in there to pull that out. There we go. That's better. And now, I might be able to do that standoff. Take this screw out again. Moving one of the motherboard uh, screws. Get my hand in there. Hmm. 
through. There you go. This spot was more important, I think. There we go. I like that. That's a lot better. This one here doesn't really need it because it's already anchored on the side, so we're good there. And let's see. So USB power or USB connection. Run this adjustment in. Through there, let me lay it down so it's Ooh. I can loose. It's good now. Probably for me flipping it all around. The screws only go in on one side. Probably put another one down there. Spot for it though. Alright, so USB header. Plug in there. USB header connected. Last thing to do on the back for right now. Anyway, retie down these cables. Get this way again. So right here. I remember the first time I put this in here, this was a huge pain in the ass. It's not going to be again. Hey, I got it through right away. It's awesome. We got it. tie those down separately because I've got other Velcros for that. Oh. And I had to take it out because I fucking put it in wrong. Let's hope I can get it in there pretty easily again. Oh, that curve and that down. Can't even see that because it's on the motherboard. Pull out the tweezers. Hot swap bays that aren't being used? Why aren't you using hot swap bays? Those would be great for uh, data disks in like a RAID array. So if they fail, just pull the drive out. When you have the new one and put put the new one in there. One of my old I, like I have I had an old server 
like a it was a for you server. Um, it had hot swap base. I also need to figure out what the fuck to do with these other sensors that are in here. Probably read the directions for that, eh? You think? Sounds like a good idea. So, yeah, like you, you should add. So, what I like, mean, I can't tell you what to do, obviously, but like I use. So, I don't know if you can see them. Oh, yeah, you can. So, these drives here, and then the two that are the one that's on the front, um, one here, one here, and one here, uh, those are all hard drives that run in RAID 5. Um, and it's using Windows for RAID. So, as long as I have the version of Windows that I created the RAID on or newer, it will pick those up and I won't lose my data. Um, some of the RAID controllers that a lot of boards have. You're stuck if you get a new board and it's a different chipset. Um, so I would recommend using the like Windows RAID because it's all software RAID anyway. Um, a lot of people will be like, oh, it's software RAID. True RAID controllers are very, very expensive. Um, so most of them do software RAID. Some of it is just through the BIOS. Um, so, yeah, I would do uh, I would do Windows rate base rate. If you can. I like raid five personally, um, because I feel that my data is protected. Um, that I'm not going to lose it when I lose a disk. So I typically do RAID 5. I've got three machines that have RAID 5 data disk. This being one, my network storage device being one, and then uh, another, a, a Linux machine that I have that uh, has redundant RAID. Is not working out exactly how I wanted it to. It's not working out at all. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it is. No, not really. No, it's not even fucking sticking to any of the parts that I wanted to. part that is sticky is like barely there. I guess I'm doing it back. I mean, I get that. I 100% get that. But like over time, I would like, if you have the money to buy a drive at any point, you can always convert it to RAID. Like Windows is very flexible with, with its RAID. Um, you can pretty much, they don't even have to be, I mean, I guess most devices are that way. Like they don't have to be the same size drives or anything like that. It's not, it's not the prettiest, but all this shit's hidden anyway, so it's fine. All right. That piece is done. No, I hear you on that, Carilla. I'm just saying, you know, because 
the the piece of advice that I will give is you can't think about oh uh, you can't think about if you lose a drive it's going to be when you lose a drive because hard disks will fail always it's just a matter of when Oh. All right. Find out what all this other shit plugs into. Thankfully, you saw it failing. I've got um, I've got a PC over here that uh, I'm actually going to pull out. It's in the corner of my desk. I'm going to pull it out before I set this one up fully um, to kind of rebuild that one. It's just a little. I run like some bots and things on it, um, but that one gave zero indication, at least to me, like that I could see that the drive was failing. So like. I had to, like, all the data that was on there is lost, and I had to reconfigure a ton of things. That one I did not have in RAID, <laughs> which is why when I set up the new one, it did. It's weird that there's a clear CMOS button on the back of this. Oh yeah, okay. So there's switches on on that over here. So there's BIOS switches and BIOS LED LED indicators. So one switch allows you to run the main BIOS, the other runs from the backup BIOS. And then the second switch is to run in dual BIOS mode or in single BIOS, BIOS mode. Which is neat. Noise sensor? Why does this motherboard have a noise sensor? That's what this thing is. So, this one? No. Uh, nope. This. This is a noise sensor. Why is there a noise sensor? This fan pump, CPU fan, sys fan, fan header. Probably to hear a fan failing in one or two. Maybe. Water cooling fan header. Fan header is a four pin. This is a foolproof 
insertion design. Most fan headers possesses a foolproof insertion design. So it says most have a foolproof insertion design. When connecting the fan cable, be sure to connect it in the correct orientation. Temperature sensor headers. That's what these are. These are these ones are temperature sensors. I don't know where you put those on though. Just leave them in the case. Front audio header. That's that one down there. Making sure I have that hooked up. I don't really use it, but I'm making sure. And it doesn't give any details either. It says this header can be used to connect the noise detection cable to detect noise inside the case. Like, hey, somebody's breaking into your case. No, you, but you are probably right to detect like a, like a fan or um, a, a hard disk, spindle disk. Oh, there better not be any fucking leaks. This is an all-in-one. It better not have any. Let's see. Let's put these on. Where do these fucking have go? One here. One down there. I don't know where you're supposed to, like, run these to. I also don't want fucking loose cables in my fucking case. Boring. Ugly. Yeah, I mean, I know. Tech, I mean, but like they have like super long, super long fucking cable. Like, I don't know where I want that. Like, I'll probably put one at the top of the case. You know, there's a good place for that. Who knows? Fan, fan, fan. I don't see where this fucking thing says it goes. Oh. Okay, I, just, I see where it goes. So it goes 
here. Let's show the orientation of which one is power and which one is sensor. Pin one is sensor in, pin two is ground. So, in this orientation, in one is sensor this way. And the other one in this orientation, this is pin one. Not all motherboards have enough plugs for them. Um, yeah, so I was, I when I ordered this, this power supply, I ordered the 850 watt or whatever it was. Um, they gave me that one. Pin one is ground, right? Pin one was sensor. Pin one. This is the part that I hate because, like, you're trying to plug in this little tiny fucking plug, and your big ass hand gets in the way. This one. Double checking that plug. So that way was sensor one. Sensor, which I have these backwards. No. Had it the right way. All right. The G2. Nice. Now I don't know where to run this. I'll probably drop one under here. I don't know if that's important or not, but we're gonna put one underneath. So I can see how warm it is underneath the case. Hard drives and shit down there, so it's important. We're just gonna fish it through one of these holes and leave it in there. We're gonna do. Come at me. I don't like that spot because it shows too much cable. So we're going to do it right here. I'll put the other one on the top. Maybe like up here, it should have the inside temperature of the case up there, and I'll see how much air is like being pushed through from the radiator, how much heat is ventilating from up there. I don't know. I don't know what fucking uses these sensors, so.
guess I should hook up the noise then. That cable is tucked. I kind of want to just take, I'll take this part through. I want to leave it like here. See how much temp, like what the temperature is at the meet. Meet temperature to the cake. This here. How to put the tape on some second. This is when I get nervous because if I go and turn it on. It don't work. Then I gotta figure out what the fuck's wrong. Um, these are SATA cables. I don't need that. That is, what the fuck, that thing, that thing. Is that RGB? What is this plug? What does that plug into? It's got like a weird, Weird three pin connector and then a standard four pin. No. That's also a three. So, like a fan three pin and then a weird three pin. Oh, it's for the LEDs. It is the LED addressable LED strip header. So that would be for, yeah, if I wanted to put a strip in here, save that cable, I'll go in the motherboard box so I don't lose that shit. Don't need to put it in there now because I'm not using it. Um, first things first. Why is that one? I have a screw. You guys remember where I put the screws for these? Oh wait, I remember. <sighs> oh shit.
both AT60s. Both HD60s are in. Change my cooler? Yes. Um, they didn't have the NZXT stuff, so I had to buy a uh, uh, Corsair. Cooler's in, though. Cooler's in and attached. I really don't like this setup. I wish there was a uh, better, like I like the cases that have the, um, the screws for the, the PCIe cards on the outside. And they're a lot easier to lock in that way. Bad man, my jammer. That's my right spot. Is it going to want to go down one slot? Yeah, it wants to go down one slot. Yeah, I I like so these are thumb screws, but they're super awkward to like put in, if that makes sense. And then the locking plate. I like the locking plate. I'm waiting for the days when uh, video card manufacturers decide that they need two PCIe slots. <laughs>
Made a smoothie for dinner. Oh, which card requires two PCIe slots? That's not good. Let me get those tweezers out again. Because I just dropped the, the thumb screw in there. I just need to unplug it. Easier to unplug the card. Oh, the slots themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I meant actually using multiple PCIe slots. Yeah, the, the newer boards kind of take, like, fix that problem where they, like, even with this one, right, like, there's, look at this huge gap between, like, this slot and, and this one. Where'd the uh, little fucking tab go? Yep. Oh my god. I dropped it a fucking again. Where'd it go now? See it. Yes. 
Yes, please. Let's fucking drop it again. Yeah, I didn't drop it. Oh, here's the piece. Fuck. Hold on, I want I gotta take this out. Chance to drop it is back. I realized when I took this card out the first time. You guys know this, but the little fucking Clamp down comes off rather easily. Come on, snap in there. There we go. That's all we needed. Comes off super easy, but also goes back in really easy. Almost dropped it. But I didn't. This one's harder to put in. For some reason it's like bent. It doesn't fucking... It's a lot harder for me to fucking put in. But yeah, I could use another hand right now, actually. Go. Started it. Tightening. All right. I just need to put it down. Have we seen the stands that they have because video cards have become so fucking heavy? I can write it down. Not at all. Yes, yes, I need ice cream. Yeah, I'm not I'm not frustrated. It's just it's just difficult. It's the design of this case is very difficult to get these slots in there. I think one more here, maybe? 
Apparently I'm missing a screw for one of these that I lost at some point in my life of having this case. This one right here. All right, I do need a break though. I'm gonna take a minute. Vape, probably use the bathroom. Um, so it was like a four hour plus stream earlier. We're at two hours now. So yeah, six hours plus. I mean, this is a, like, I literally built a PC. Actually, I unbuilt a PC and then built a PC. Yeah, so I'm, like I said, I'm I'm also a little upset about it, but um, it actually will work out for, uh, I have a potential buyer for my other motherboard and CPU, so I'll be able to, you know, for, because I'm, I'm listing it for 400, so for 450, I'll do it with the NZXT, which is a fucking deal, because, um, the NZXT itself was like 150, 160, 170 bucks when I bought it. Um, and they're still super expensive, even that model, which they still do make. They just make a newer one. Um, and the motherboard used today on Amazon is $400. So, and the CPU is like $150. So you're getting. The motherboard, the CPU, and the cooler for four fifty plus shipping, which is still cheaper than if you were to go buy it used on Amazon. I actually like their software. I almost thought about going with air cooled for the the CPU. Um, I just didn't want also buy more fans like this comes with fans because if you buy the 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 air cooler then i would have had to buy the the hub that this thing comes with i would have had to buy the fans so like i, I would have ended up spending almost exactly the same as what i spent on this um but technically because I leave my PC running, air cooling would probably be better for it. But all the components are now technically in. I still gotta, I wanna tie down the, um, I wanna tape down this, this thermo, thermal uh, sensor and then should be pretty good to go with trying to hook up mouse keyboard and a monitor or two or four see if it boots i should probably go to the manufacturer website get the bios um and uh be ready to pre-flash the bios I also, I just thought of this too. So it's got this antenna for Wi Fi, which I hate. Hate these antennas. Um, I could give this, I could give this to the person who buys the other motherboard, and I could just use the little rabbit ears that I have. Can't see it. Um, I need to be in bed in 30 minutes? Why? What time is it? I use, so I use Ethernet as well. Um, but I do like to have the Wi-Fi just in case. Um, for example, 
if my internet goes out, I have a mobile MiFi device um, that I could then connect my PC to and have internet access, um, which allows me to work if my internet goes out. But I don't want this fucking cable, like this fucking big ass shark fin. You know what time it is? Nine thirty. Go bed ten. It's ten thirty. <laughs> The one mistake that I always make, I'm not going to this time, is I always put the side panels on before I test it. And then something usually goes wrong, and then I have to take the fucking side panels off. But what we're going to do is I'm going to clean this area off a little bit over here. Got these screws and shit like that over here that need to go with the Kraken. Need a Ziploc. Use this one. All right, the tables are, I'll even give the guy some uh, Arctic silver, whoever, the person, whoever buys the motherboard. Got a nice syringe of some Arctic silver. Thermal paste to go with it. I also need to wipe off the, C the CPU itself so it doesn't have uh, I don't know where to, does anybody ever know where to, where do you put these when you're not using them? Where do they go? Like they need little compartments in here to like hold on to this shit because I don't want to throw this away because what if I need it? What if I decide to get rid of this Elgato card? Right? Like where do you fucking put this shit? In what, I mean, in what box, though? I don't have the box for the PC case anymore. In the motherboard box? I could do that. Clearly, I'm not good at keeping those things, because otherwise I wouldn't have had to go and buy a new fucking CPU cooler.
All right. We can do though. So we can put the top back on. Well, I got screws under there that I need. So let's see. This is the front panel. Part of it anyway. This is the front panel. The other part of it. This is the top panel. Don't remember what order these go on. My front filter looks like it needs soap and water. Um, I'm gonna at, blow it out again, but it it is it's a little dirty. Not too bad. There's a little bit of dust in, in here still. I'm going to go blow it out before I put it on, though. It's going, Lib. Almost ready to give it the first boot. Um, I, need, I do need to look up on online the uh, and get the latest bios for it, because it does need an update before everything will work. Um, let me go blow this out. And probably run, it was probably right, run some water, soak some water over it, and blow it out some more. Be right back. What's the game? Oh, yeah, I, um, the PC PC building simulator, or PC whatever be building simulator. I actually already grabbed that the other day. All right, so there. Um, where's my paper towel? I still want to wipe this off. Quick wipe down. Well, turn the PC around. Turn around. Oh, uh, I need a piece of tape.
Turn back and run to the bathroom. If you don't have any, you should, because gaffer tape is fan-fucking-tastic. Fan How do I make epic band word? <laughs> I'm going to put a little piece of this right here. A little piece of gaffer tape. Boom. Gaffer taped. I don't want the other one in a different spot, but we're not going to change that right now. Uh, filter. Side is up. This side. Yep. Yep. But please don't do that. Um, because there are commands, there's an epic command. That would then ban somebody for using it. So please don't do that. <laughs> okay, thanks. Right, front panel is on. And this one's fine to put on because it's not a pain in the ass to take off or anything. All right, what do we need? We need a mouse. Yeah, I wonder what that would do. Oh, shit, why is my... MacBook was unplugged. Mac batteries at five percent. Plug it in. All right, so I need a mouse, a keyboard, power, power. My PC is humming when I say power. It wants power. Um, and Ethernet at the very minimum. Oh, I need to look up the BIOS for this board. Bye. 
driver. Audio driver, I'll need that. What else we got? Bio. Updated October 1st. Uh, let's see. Update KG SA combo. Change the default. That is. Don't see anything specific on there. Like my old board, like I had to do a version first. Wow, they keep. Holy shit, they keep files up to date. They've got a bunch of versions. They're on version 35. Um, I need to find my thumb drive. I think I have one right here. Let's see. Can't see chat right now. Hold on a second. If you're saying anything? Um. Bear right back. It's in my backpack. I gotta go grab it. Snack. Oh, it did fall. Shit. So they're they're good. Like I'm surprised how good they are. Um, they're harder than uh, like normal cheese puffs. Like they're they're more of a Cheetos like texture in not texture but um, firmness. I guess you could call it. Um, but they're here. I'll open them. There, it's only 100 calories per bag. No. This is the first bag today. So they're, they're tiny. And it's not like... Um, it's not like there's only like five in the bag for it to be 100 calories. Like, it's a pretty... It's a pretty full bag for 100 calories. And it's only... Uh, one net carb, and it's got 13 grams of protein. I ordered these from myself. And they're, not only are they keto, they're cheddar, cheddar jalapeno. So they're, they're a little spicy, but not much. They're delicious.
They were on they were on one of the deal sites that I go to. It was mad dot com. Um, and like it was like twelve bucks or something for uh, twelve packs or fourteen packs or whatever it is. And I was like, that's a good deal. That's only a dollar bag. I thought the bags were bigger, but still, no, good, good deal. I don't even know if it was a dollar bag. It was a good deal. Can I help you? Catch me a nosy. Sorry, I need a little snack. Let's plug in the USB drive. I can copy the disk to it, or the, the BIOS to it. We'll be able to see chat for a few. No, I don't want to back up my files. Or you can leave. I don't need to leave. Oh my God, stop moving me off of that. So we've got this. Oh shit, what? I didn't want to open it. Fuck do I, I don't know how to use a Mac. Yeah. Called MB. Where the fuck is that folder? There it is. Copy. Why can't I paste it? Won't let me fucking put it on this disk. I have to. I can fucking download it from my uh, Windows machine. The Windows formatting fucking whatever. Go away. Come on, notification, go away. Yep. Copy this link. So you plug this thumb drive in into your computer. Hold a moment, chat. Can't see anything. Uh, excuse me. All right. 
on the thumb drive. Better get later. That's the important thing. Making sure that I have the box. So we get the thumb drive. Figure this shit out. Rocky's toy. Uh, keyboard is in the kitchen. Mouse is over there. Nope. 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 Whoa. I think I'm missing a screw. I don't remember that coming off that easy. Let's double check that. Yeah, missing a screw. Fix that. You go lay down. There they are. I thought there was more screws. And then I go and I did not tightening. Why is this screw not going in? Oh, I'm a dumbass. Put the screw back in on the left side there. Uh, where the top was on. Take a couple screws out. There we go. Screws are out. Take this off. Good, didn't break anything. Only put one in. Alright, got the screw. Pop back on. Now I can put the screws in. I have an extra screw. Don't know where it went. But we won't talk about that.
Yeah, I literally have no idea where that other screw goes. Doesn't want to tighten. Got the wrong size screw. That one's maybe that's the extra one. Some reason that screw hole is stripped. Don't know why. Nothing wants to go through into it. Oh my god, now they're both not fucking taking a screw? What the fuck? just unscrewed one from here like literally just screwed in not like try this one back here maybe these two are different it does look a little bit different let's see yeah let's try these taking both of these out
So, I don't know when my camera froze, but as you can see, this is not where I wanted it to be. I wanted to fucking, um, I wanted to go into the BIOS, um, but I fucked up again, and it boots into Windows. Yeah, I didn't realize that it froze. I'm 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 sorry. When when you asked if it was broken, so <laughs> you guys missed an entire part then of me um trying to boot it up and realizing that there was no video coming out of the um of the monitors because I forgot to plug in the video card. Um so I plugged in the video card and now I'm trying to get into the BIOS. So hold on one second. I'm going to flip this around. I know my hand's in the way. One second. All right. So I have to reboot the computer again. Again. Reboot it again. But it fucking booted. Like, first, well, first try after I plugged in the graphics card. It booted. Yeah, so I noticed when I picked up my phone to show that it fucking booted. And I'm like, oh, my camera's frozen. And then I was like, I wonder how long that was frozen. And then I was like, oh, you said it's broken. So there is a problem with, um, not a problem, but I want to go into the BIOS to upgrade the BIOS because it it doesn't fully support the CPU until um, the BIOS are updated. So everything is working. Like, I don't know if everything inside the OS is working yet because I haven't logged in fully, but everything booted up. It logged into Windows or lo like started Windows up. It got me to the login screen. I'm just trying to get into the bios now. I'm not sweaty. I mean, my hair is a little greasy from being sweaty earlier, but right now I'm not sweaty. It is taking a minute to reboot. I'm just gonna kill it. Kill it with fire. I need to figure out how to boot into the BIOS. Usually the delete key or F2. There we go, we're into the BIOS. Um, let's see here. Let's... Uh, I'm going. I'm gonna set you down for just a moment like that. Look at look at my mouse. And what we're gonna do is Um, what am I going to throw away the broken monitor? What do you mean? It's not broken yet. Partially broken, but it's not broken. It's flickering a little bit. That's all.
now you guys can see my monitor as I CPU temperature 33 degrees. Uh oh, what just happened? That was weird. So M2 sees it. PCIe it sees something in there. There's my set of disks. We're going to turn on XMP. Um, how do I turn it off easy mode? I don't want fucking easy mode. Uh, let's see. You flash. Update BIOS. I would assume Yeah, I thought that <laughs> Nope. How do I go back? The fuck you go up. No. How the fuck do you go up? You go, how do you go up a level? You guys see something on here that I don't? How do you go up a level? escape we'll try it again we'll go in there f8 there we go um so i need to extract the zip file that's on here because it doesn't see it so give me a second Wait. unplug that and go plug it into the other pc extract it So we can use it. Oops, I stepped on the dog's toy again. Sorry, did not mean to do that. We're going to extract. There. Right. It's extracted. Remove this so I don't step on it again. Plug it in. Let's see if I can give you a Unknown device, no. There we go. Press start. Where's the start key?
Oh, Langer. Yo, B, coming in with the raid. Thank you so much. Welcome, everybody, from B&D Stream. I tore out my motherboard and CPU and put in a new motherboard and CPU, and it actually booted up into Windows the first time. But I'm updating the BIOS right now uh, to have the latest version because it recommends it. We're doing that. I was Predator and Rocket League and all that fun stuff. Um, apparently my my NDI camera froze at one point. I actually like using my my uh, phone here as as like a secondary camera. I, now I just need a I need a better clamping system. Like if I want it above, I I do have a I I have a Raspberry Pi camera um, that I want to look and see if I can use NDI with that. This made me laugh. You can create a create a teabag command that drops that video. I don't show videos automatically, but yeah, just add a command called teabag. Yeah, so it's updating the BIOS. Once the BIOS are updated, I'm going to go through the settings real quick and make sure everything looks good. It should have tried to boot off the USB, which I'm glad it didn't, but I need to make sure in the BIOS that it's set to do so. Um, because in the future, like if I want to reinstall Windows or something like that, uh, I don't want to have to go into the BIOS to fucking do that. Were you playing uh, hunting grounds with? Linger? Sad I missed it. I mean, I have you tabbed, but haven't been watching. I've been a little busy. 92%. I'm gonna make this my new loading uh loading stream screen. Yeah, I actually I need this PC um to uh you know work tomorrow. <laughs> Let's make sure we go into the BIOS. Unplug this. Hope it stops reading. Come on, show me, show me something on the screen. Did I break it? Did updating the BIOS break it? Okay. Scaring me. Literally scaring me. All right, let's go to advanced mode. Actually, let's look at easy mode first. 
XMP enabled. All right, XMP on, clock's fine. I'm, I'm not gonna mess with the clock of those things yet. Or the voltage of the uh, memory. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna run some tests and see how everything runs stock, and then I will tweak those things uh, after the fact. So we need, let's check the boot. So, boot option. There should be, I'm not sure if this is the USB or not. I think it is. Let me move this up. So let's do that. Boot option one, that. So that should boot from USB. And also move this up. So let's move this down as well. And then. Fast boot disabled. Let's save and exit. That's not the right time, is it? Is it eleven thirty? No, it's ten thirty. I was gonna say, what the fuck? Save and exit. Not enough RAM. I didn't even look and see what it said. I because I know how much RAM is in there, so I didn't even look. Um. I got 16 gig sticks. I don't know if they make, do they make 64 gig sticks for like home PCs? I know they make 32 because I almost bought 32s. We're booting. I mean, 16s are expensive. There it is, chat. It's booted. Well, I'm, do I'm, I'm doxing myself because, you know, you can't figure out my name if you look at my Twitter account. I think that's, I think that's a win, if you ask me. That's true. That's not my name. It's only part of my name. Um, so I don't know my password. I know my pin.
Yeah, I have no idea what my password is. And look, off in the distance. Me soaking in the sunset after an easy job of taking a motherboard out and uh, throwing a new one. No, it's not. It's not me. <laughs> uh, that's a Microsoft wallpaper. It changes like every day. If you hover, well, it's supposed to, usually if you hover there, it, like it gives you a little information about the shot, like who took the photo and all that stuff. But this one's not doing it. I am, I mean, we had, I had a little, a couple little hiccups here and there. Um, I probably will install Windows 11 very soon, actually. A couple little hiccups, um, but once, you know, I realized that um, I needed to plug in the video card. Then it worked. Like, this is probably the first time that I've built a PC that the very first time I turned it on, it booted. Like, usually I have to reseat, like, the RAM or, or something just needs, like, a minor little tweak to it. Um... But this one actually went off fairly well. What are those clap commands? I don't. Are those better Twitch TV or something? Because I don't see them. Or seven TV? What's seven TV? Yeah, they're they're not showing up in my browser for me. In Chrome. It just says clap and clap two. We've gone through uh, two sets of batteries today. Actually, no. In the entire time that I was streaming, this is the first time I'm changing my batteries up. I think I changed them right when I started. And now. You're missing out their skeleton hand clapping. Neat. Um, it also looks like not 100% confirmation yet. I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to check that out. Um, not 100% confirmation, but it looks like the Threadripper is sold with the motherboard and the NZXT uh, cooling. is a good deal because that's a nice offset for what uh like the extra money that I had to spend for the new cooler and stuff like that. Now you just now you now you just messing with me.
That I want to figure out why it's doing that. Well, now I know. Actually, I know why it did that because it it went. No, it didn't go to sleep. I thought it went to sleep. Uh, so I have, I have to figure that one out. But fine. I'm sure there's some drivers that I need to uninstall and install new ones. Yeah, so I, I will add it. Actually, if I add it to this Chrome, then I'll add it to my regular one too. So I will do that. Add the Chrome. I don't want to enable on YouTube. <coughs> um, because I'm wrapping it up. Should I, here, you want me to, you want to stare at me? How's that? Is that better? <laughs> Plug a camera in. I, so the, um, there's a PC, hold on, I'll, I'll flip and show you. Flip the camera. See that little PC in the corner there? I want to pull him out before I put this one back in the spot that it goes in. Because I, I need to uh, reinstall an operating system on that PC, so I want to get it out of that corner. What's his name? Um, that PC, his name is, uh, Vitate, V-I-A-T, V-I-A-T-A-T-E, Vitate. So I appreciate everybody hanging out the uh, for for the second stream and the first stream, and uh, helping me to you know when when I fuck things up, helping me through those. Um, I appreciate the the raids and the hosts today. It's fantastic for both streams, and uh, I'm gonna flip you back around. You can look at my screen for a minute. A little tater. <laughs> um, and we'll find somebody to raid out to. You broke something? No. Look. I didn't break anything. It's right there. <laughs> All right. So let me put this back here on the, this little mount for a moment. Uh oh. Um. Apparently, I broke my camera mount. There we go. All right. Um. Let's see. Who do we have live? Yep. Bios updated and everything. Um, did I get, I did get it, but I didn't refresh my page. Um, well, I know we went here yesterday, but we're going to do it again today because he's live. Uh, yeah, I did install 7TV though. Um, so I will, yeah, I didn't refresh the page though, but it doesn't, doesn't show yet. 
That's me. The, I'm assuming those are neat. I like the, the ones that you sent me a screenshot of. Um, so we're going to, like I said, we went here yesterday, but we're going to do it again. Um, we're going to read Dr. Fright playing Dead by Daylight. Okay, hold on. I'll refresh so I can see. Hold on. Refresh. I refreshed. It didn't, it didn't show them. Oh, wait. It did. Those are fucking cool. I like them. All right, we're going to raid Dr. Fright. Playing Dead by Daylight. No ELO. Yeah. I have three accounts, Crimson. No ELO and then a barcode account. Um, we're going to raid Dr. Fright. I appreciate you all hanging out, watching me almost fuck things up, um, coming back after I had to run to Best Buy to get a new cooler. And... Uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Go show Dr. Fright. I have more than three. Not, a, not for Siege. I only have three for Siege. <laughs> but in general, yes, I have more than three accounts. All right. We're going to go over to Dr. Fright. And I will be live tomorrow. Um, hopefully everything will be hooked up. Should be. I'll do it on lunch. Um, and I will talk to you later. Love you, bye.